Hey guys, what's going on? Billy Coles here out on Smith Mountain Lake doing the Dobbins December uh, rod lineup for you. And it's probably hard to believe with what I'm wearing, but it is the middle of December and it is 60 degrees in Virginia. Um, we're about to have four days that are 60 to 65 degrees and I have a feeling it's gonna make fishing pretty funky as the water temps are already too high, but I'm gonna show you guys the four rods that are gonna be on the deck for most of December and three of them are spinning rods. I'm from Minnesota originally, very wan country. Having these light line techniques, these finesse techniques will catch some really, really big ones as they're transitioning into kind of that, uh, that winter period or as quickly as they can with the weather that we're having. So first one, I've talked about it before. It is the 702 Champion XB. This is the drop shot rod um, or specific drop shot rod from Dobbins. It's a Nasty 3000. I've just got a Missile Baits bomb shot on here. Um, this is gonna be in my hand for a good amount of the days until um, you know we get some wind or some really good cold snaps because the fish are gonna be finicky as that water temp's dropping um, and going back up. Next one is the all-purpose rod from Dobbins. It's a Champion XP 703. This is good for shaky head, it's got a Nico rig uh, with a missile baits quiver on it right now. You can throw bigger swim baits on this, Kitec 3.3s, 3.8s, um, little micro jigs. This is a good all around rod. Again, it's a nasty 3000, um, 16 pound braid to whatever leader you need to tie to that. But this is gonna be your best all around rod. So if you're looking for something for Christmas, uh, this is definitely one to add to the arsenal. The last spinning rod, which has a little guppy head on it, and a little 2.8 imitating all that small bait that's kind of swimming around is the Champion XP 732. So 73, uh, two power, again, Nasty 3000. That's on all my spinning setup, 16 pound braid, and then I've got a seven pound leader on here. This is like your ultra finesse technique. Um, you're letting this 3 16 sounds head drop to the bottom, drag it on the bottom, fish it super slow, looking for bait. Um, but that Kai Tech is a great, um, a great bait to kind of show the fish exactly what they're eating. And then last is a new rod that I just added uh, for this month because I've been told by many, many, many guys and that is a Champion XP 684 CB. Um, I have had a seven foot jerk bait rod for many years. Love the rod, it's totally awesome, but I wanted something a little bit shorter with a little bit more snap to it. Um, and this will seriously work a jerk bait hard um, and it's not gonna strain your your wrist, your elbow, your shoulder. You can see how sensitive that rod is, guys. Didn't even get him close to the mouth. But I could feel the bite the whole time. Um, and you're really able to get some good action out of it. And then I've already caught some big ones on this. It can handle big fish just fine. Um, so don't worry about it being a short rod. It's got a Corrado DC, 10 pound Sunline Sniper on it. Run that all winter long as far as the jerk bait goes. So it's Christmas season. If you wanna pick up uh, any of these rods, just go to DobbinsRods.com. Uh, appreciate you guys watching and maybe we'll have winter weather in a couple weeks because right now I am burning up in the sweatshirt. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe, check out Instagram, all that normal stuff, and uh, we'll see you guys out on the water. Thanks.